Legend. That's an interesting word. Great players make great coaches, period. You could be the best X and O guy in the world. But if you don't have the players, forget about it. And great players need coaches that understand the mission. Chuck Kyle is the man whose story will be told for decades to come. Anyone that knows Chuck Kyle will quickly tell you how he operates with preparation, passion, and commitment. It wasn't only on the gridiron or the track where that was evident. Chica wanted to make state champions out of his students in the classroom as well. Simply put, Chico has always been a teacher. Chuck came on board in the, you know, let's say the mid to late 70s. And Chuck was not immune to, you know, let's say to the, to the pressures of how do we do the best for our kids in kind of a changing world. You know, how about the internet? How about all the changes that, that have come, you know, since then? Is not everything going to be teacher-centered? You lecture for, you know, for 40 minutes. And, uh, you know, that's just not going to be, that's just not going to work. And so uh, I think Chuck, like with the, you know, with the department, had to uh, see what was, you know, going on uh, educationally in the country, what things were working, what things were not working with kids as kids were changing in terms of, you know, their, their uh, backgrounds. How about reading? You know, how about getting kids to read? I mean, that's always been a challenge. And, and you know, all English teachers, you know, kind of, you know, face that. And so uh, we as a department, Chuck part of it, trying to figure out what do we do to try to make our curriculum uh, modern? How do we, what do we do to make our curriculum uh, work and still say, stay true to the Jesuit ideals that we're, you know, working under? And what you're doing is, as a teacher, is you're a cheerleader, and what you are doing is you are taking something with which you are very, very passionate, and you are sharing that with other people. You're taking them on a journey with you. And I think that that's what happens in Chuck Kyle's room. He's taking kids to the times of Chaucer in the medieval period. He's taking them into where Shakespeare was. He's taking them into the lives of the short stories. He's taking them on a journey. And that's the one thing that, that I really got from him right at the very beginning when I met him. Unbounded energy and extreme passion. And I learned from that. And uh, you know, from, from him and Pasco, it was like <laughs> You can't help but getting some of that yourself. You know, Chuck wanted uh, to get as much as he could out of the, you know, let's say the young men that he coached in terms of developing their talent, uh, making them appreciate the gifts, the talents that they uh, had from God. I think in the classroom it was the same way. It didn't matter if these, if these were more challenged groups that he had or if it was you know, just average classes that he was teaching or very gifted classes that he was teaching, it didn't matter. What he wanted was that each kid would try to develop his potential to the, to the best. What a lot of people don't know about Chuck is how much of the uh, time and energy went after uh, the seasons, particularly let's say in football, in terms of trying to help place kids to colleges that would be perfect uh, for them. Not just for, let's say, the athletic end of it, but for them in terms of how they could grow intellectually, how they could you know, grow in terms of academics. Uh, he was just interested in the whole, the total kid. And uh, I, I think that that's what a lot of people, you know, they think of him on the field and his kind of his fiery demeanor and all that, but yet all the hard work, all the time that he had to put in outside of uh, you know, his performance you know, on the field to help these young men along. One of the, the key leaders of the school I had a special relationship with him. Um, I, I was blessed to get in class with him in, in Chaucer Shakespeare my senior year. He's, he's doing everything. He's not just your, your sports mentor or, or role model, but also someone who's, who wants to shape your life in the classrooms. So Coach Kyle's always been demanding, and him demanding the best on every play is no different than the best in every day of your life. And I think that's something that like I said, I've, I took with me when I played ball, but I also have taken with me in my personal life as a father, as a, as a husband, 
as a businessman, as a son, as a brother, as a friend. Those are the intangibles that I think people will, might not recognize if you haven't played for him, that he instilled in all of his players was just that commitment to excellence on a daily basis and don't settle for anything less than that.